All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakah HaKadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Just coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. And as we could see on the screen, <clears throat> and I'm going to play a video as well to the video that's connected to this particular link. As we see on the screen, it says dozens of PD churches among more than 110 separating from the United Methodist Church in dispute over sexuality doctrine. All right. And to just sum it up and put it in, uh, you know, simpler terms, you're having because, uh, you know, these churches uh, in, um, you know, particularly. Um, well, I would say they're pretty much nationwide, worldwide. They have uh, a term such as denominations. You know where they have with AME Baptists and uh, 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 what else they call it, um, holiness, or just certain denominations, of certain uh, churches. But uh, nevertheless, you have uh, now you have uh, the churches pretty much uh, beefing with one another because these churches want uh, certain churches, which in there in the spirit, okay, but not in the spirit of truth, a mop, where they don't want to uh, participate into doctrine. Of uh, you know, having the uh, the the funny people in there, you know, because you know, when you read this article at your discretion, they're going to tell you that uh, certain churches they don't want to perform, you know, having uh same sex marriages anymore, and um, you know, allowing uh certain individuals in their uh, congregation because hey, going into the scriptures, uh, speak about the uproars of the people, man. But uh, we're gonna play this video and we're gonna have a few scriptures because we're gonna touch bases on the fact of. Uh, first and foremost, the spirit of the Lord is not even dwelling in those churches, man, or in those hireling houses, man. All right. And then we're going to also cover the fact that the spirit of the Lord, uh, the temple of the Lord uh, is is um, is within the people, man. All right. And the people that I'm referring to are the uh, who? The Israelites, man, the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. But uh, let's get into it a little bit. OK. The first edition, 113 South Carolina churches are separating from the United Methodist Church. Just under half are from our region, including churches in Johnsonville, Florence, Aynor, and Conway. This congregations decided to separate because members there think the denomination has not held its stance on human sexuality issues. Separations were approved today at the 2023 South Carolina Annual Conference. According to denomination leaders, separating churches will close on June 30th. You can find a full list right now at WBTW. All right, now we're going to stop that. Now it says more than 110 churches, all right, as she just said, are um, including those particular areas Florence, Hartsville, Is a new and, title um, really necessary? Shilaki, um, Florence, certain areas around South Carolina, all right, over the dispute over the sexuality doctrine, all right? Now, uh, as we stroll down a little bit, it says the United Methodist Book of Discipline prohibits performing same gender weddings and the orientation of self avowed practicing, you know, uh, homo, homo lifestyle, the conference said. Separating churches is separating churches will be closed effectively June 30th. All right. So, it, and then they go into the certain areas that's going to, that's going to be, um, closed from the separating of the churches, man. Cause look at this. Hey, this famine of the world is about to hit, man. All right. And this is all Florence, Hartsville area, Marion area, all these churches, you know, Anderson area, Charleston area, Columbia area, Greenville area, Greenwood, Orangeburg, Rock Hill, Spartanburg, Walterboro. All right. You know, in all these churches, all these denominations of the uh, United Methodist uh, denomination are going to be closed, man. All right. Because, hey, these churches are, are, are doing what? Going against the, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Because you have these churches that are what? Participating in. 
having funny people, even having weddings and all type of uh, abominable action acts there. But let's get into first and foremost how the spirit of the Lord ain't even dwelling in those churches anyway, man. So let's get Acts 7 and 48. All right. This is the book of Acts chapter 7, verse 48. And it states right out the gate, it says, how be it the most high dwell of not in temples made with hands as saith the prophet. OK, so because even though those churches are going to close and the other ones are still going to be open. All right. Those 501c3 uh, uh, sponsored uh, uh, dudes that still want to receive the bag. All right. Um, uh, uh, here it is that the most high is letting us know off top, man. The spirit of the most high don't even dwell in those churches, man. All right. And, and once again, the words of the Lord tell us to do what, man? The spirit uh, of, of truth, a moth is in the streets, man, on the highways and the hedges, man. All right. And how are we going to prove that, man? We're going to prove everything a, a, a through scripture, man. One thing that these churches don't don't do, man. All right. Because whether they're uh, uh, leaving the United Methodist, whatever organization they are, hey, those churches are still going to be operating and they're going to be open and they're still going to be pushing and pushing the doctrine of uh, Seji Borgir, man. They're still going to be feeding our people our lives, man. They're still going to be in that spirit of Jesus Christ, man. All right. They're just going to be uh, uh, separating from that United Methodist uh, denomination. But best believe those churches that are on that list are still going to be up and operating. But then guess what? They're not going to be pushing the, the truth, man, the moth, man, the 100 percent gospel, man. All right. They're not going to be preaching uh, Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai, man. All right. They're still going to be pre preaching Jesus Christ, man. And once again, it's going to they're going to be in that uproar spirit, man. All right. Because those those churches are going to be it's going to be it's going to be a mess out here, man, just to sum it all up, man. And then all and inevitably, it's all going to lead into Amos 8 and 11, the famine of the word, man, the famine of hearing the truth, man. All right. But uh, let's stay on task, because once again, Acts 7 and 48, how be it this, the most high dwelleth not in temples made with hands, as saith the prophet. All right. Then the most high says heaven is my throne and earth is my footstool, man. All right. So, hey, hey, the Most High is in the heaven, man. The spirit of, of, of Yahweh Bashim al Shai is, cannot be consumed in no, in, in no uh, so-called building built with hands, man. All right? The temple of the Lord are his people, man, the Israelites, man. All right? Now, let's get um real quick just to prove that this truth, all right, is, is out here on the highways and the hedges, man. Let's get uh, Luke chapter 14, Luke 14 and uh, uh, 20, 23, all right? This is... uh. Let's get uh Shalaki. Luke chapter 14, verse 20, uh 20, uh 23. And it says, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go into the highways and hedges and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Okay, now the Lord said, Go into the highways and the hedges, right? Going, that means going out to the streets, man. All right, and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. Now you have people say, now see, I thought it said that my house may be filled, man. Nah, the Lord ain't talking about once again, because we started out with Acts 7 and 48. The Lord already said, a hey, hey, heaven is his throne, earth is his footstool. And he said, Hey, how be it the most high dwell of not in temples made with hands? All right. We're talking a uh, 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 compel them to come into the ways of the Hawabashim Shai because the once again, the house of the Lord is not. Uh, uh, built with hands, man, and, and 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 the house of the Lord, and we're the house of the Lord, man. We're the temple of the Lord. All right. Now, matter of fact, let's go ahead and prove that, man. Let's go ahead and prove that before we go any further, because you have people being like, "Hey, that just said I compelled them to come into the house." No, come into the ways of Yahweh by Shem man. All right, because once again, we're the temple of the Lord. All right. Now, this is First Corinthians, chapter three, verse sixteen, and it reads that. Know ye, know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you? So once again, hey, the, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, we are the temple of the Lord, man. All right? It's not about going to no uh no church. Once again, we, we already read Acts 7 and 48. Hey, the Lord said he dwelleth not in temple made with hands, man. All right? The, we are the temple of the Lord, man. The Lord dwelleth in us, man. All right? Once again, Acts, uh, uh, Shalaki. Uh, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16, know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. That's right, man. All right. 
So um, going back to, let's go back to this loop, man, because we're still on the point about hey, the spirit of, of the Lord, the truth, where you're going to get the real wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be in the streets, on the highways and hedges. Hey, this is Luke chapter 14, 23, and it says, And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and the hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. And as, is that not where our apostles and our elders, where you see us on the highways and byways when we're uploading videos, man, out there uh, uh, blowing the trumpet? We're blowing the trumpet in the highways and the hedges, man. All right, we're in, we're not in the in the house or in the building where the where the sound can be uh restricted. No, we're out there in the highways and the hedges, man, where the sound can go out, man. All right, because the word of the, words of the the, the Lord Yahweh by Shemal Shai is going to go out through the through the whole world, man, as it is now, man. All right, scriptures speak about the truth that the world has been so long without, man. Is it now is here, man? That true amoth that that amoth, man, the truth. All right. Now let's get let's get Matthew chapter 22 and let's read about, you know, being in the highways and hedges. And we're going to get Proverbs as well, man. All right. About a, where the words of the Lord, where the, where, the, where the Lord said he utters his words in the streets. All right. Now, this is we're going to get Matthew. Chapter uh, 22. This is the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 22. And we're going to start at verse nine and it reads and it says. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as, as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together as many as they found, both good and bad, and the wedding was furnished with guests, man. All right, now this is talking about uh, 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 that wedding, that husbandry, man. When, when, when your Hawaii Shemal Shai comes back to redeem the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. But hey, the Lord said we're going to be uh, uh, the same way, just roughly paraphrasing. And we're fishermen of men, all right, because hey, it says uh, good and bad, because when we're out here on the highways and byways, guess what? You, you're you going to have uh, Jake that's going to be compelled to uh, listen to the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema and and, and and come back to knowing who you are you're, and doing the right things. And you're going to have the ones that don't even consider, man, and they're going to still want to be uh, wandering at the ways of the world, man. No different when you have good fish, you have bad fish. You catch a good fish, you keep the good fish, man. But you catch the bad fish and you throw it back, man. You don't want the bad fish, man. Are you are you discarded the bad fish, man? You're separating the good from the bad, man. Uh, uh, to sum it all up. But uh, as the scripture said, it said, go to the what? Go to the highways. Once again, Matthew 22 and 9. And it's written in red. Yahweh Shai Mashiach. This is what the commandment that the Lord has for the men to do, man. True men of Yahweh Bashim Shai are going to be in the streets and the highways and hedges, compelling our people to come back to the ways and the statute laws and commandments that the Lord has given only into the nation of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Now, Matthew 22 and 9. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. All right. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found both good and bad. All right. So the servants of the Lord are going to be doing what the Lord commanded him to do, man. All right. And also, what are they going to be doing? They're going to be speaking the same thing, man. All right. But we're going to get to that. We're going to get to that. Now, let's get Proverbs. Proverbs chapter one. And we're going to start at 20, man, because once again, the words of the Lord is not in no temple, man. All right. While these churches is out here beefing. All right. And separating themselves. Once again, you, you had uh, are the ones that are separating themselves. Yeah, they're in the right spirit by not wanting to uh, uh, have the same sex marriages and all that. And, you know, and, and participate in all those uh, devious acts. But in the same breath, man, hey, they're still in the spirit of the world. All right. And they're still in the spirit of receiving that 501c3 uh, charter. Because guess what? They're not gonna they're not gonna be preaching Yahweh Shem Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're not gonna be uh, preaching Amoth, man. The truth, man. All right. They're still gonna be preaching uh, 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 confusion, man. All right. Now, um, uh, getting back to the scriptures, Proverbs chapter one and twenty, it says, "Wisdom crieth without; she uttereth her voice in the streets." All right, in the highway, between, what, what, what we said, the highways and hedges, man. What the scriptures say, in the highways and hedges, man. All right. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, Proverbs 1 and 21. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city, she uttereth her words, saying, all right, so the, hey, the words of the Lord, hey, the servants of the Lord are going to be on the highways and hedges, in the streets, man, uh, uh, expressing and, 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 and uh, blowing that trumpet, uh, doing the will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, all right? 
hey, hey, out here telling our people who they are, man. Tell them to come back to the ways of the Lord, man. Tell them the heathen who he is, man. Tell them Esau, we know who he is, man. Giving our people that breath that the Lord has give, uh, blessed us with, man. Beginning with our apostles and our elders, man. All right, the Lord has stirred up our minds and put us back in remembrance of who we are, man. So this is this is why it's bigger than hey, having a building, all right, and just uh, uh, being in, inside a uh, building all day. When we're the temple of the Lord, man, when we're supposed to be out there uh, bidding people for the marriage, man, because Yahweh Bashim Shai is on his way back, man, and he's only coming back to the redeem the election, the, all right, the true sincere followers, man, pursuing the Zechariah 13, uh, 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 8 and 9, all right, where uh, going into where the Lord is about to uh, do away with two-thirds of, of, of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, all right, and for, uh, 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 First Peter 4 and 17, man, tells you that what, man, the Lord is coming back to start with his house first and foremost, man, because, hey, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, hey, hey, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man, we're the only ones that the Lord gives, uh, uh cares about, the, the, the only nation that the Lord is concerned with, man, the, 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 the nation of Israel, man, all right, now, Proverbs 1 and 20, 20 uh proverbs 1 and 20 once again it says wisdom crieth without she uttered her voice in the street she crieth in the chief chief place a concourse in the openings of the gates in the city she uttered her words saying how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge and that's what we're out there telling our people man how do you want how long are you going to continue to be simple man how long are you going to continue to go to these hiring houses man all right and then we're telling those scoffers how long do you do you think that you're going to just continue to, to ignore the words of the lord and, and nothing be done to you man all right and then we tell our people hey how long are you do you want to continue to, to hate uh pure knowledge man all right having that fear from the lord man all right because our people don't fear the lord man they're in that such oh I love the Lord and the Lord know my heart and, and, and just madness, man. All right. Just all type of confusion, man. This is why a true prophets of the Lord are out there uh, on the highways and hedges telling our people how long you're going to be simple. How long you're going to participate in, in the ways that the Lord not does not see uh, uh, fitting, man. All right. Just uh, to sum it all up, man. Hey, the Lord has given uh, all right, our apostles and our elders, man, on down to sincere brothers understanding of how everything works man all right people wonder why they're in uh uh in debt why they're uh why their health is uh not so good it's an uh, an array of things that our people wonder and through the spirit hey the lord has beginning with our apostles and our elders where well, we pretty much have the, the answers to everything man all right of of how our people the negroes latinos and native americans could better themselves man but once again as the scripture say fools hate knowledge man all right, because it all goes back with having the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, and you're going to get that with sound wisdom and instructions, man. All right, Proverbs 1 and 7, man. All right, but let's get back to the fact of, all right, once again, the wisdom of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, it uttered itself in the streets, man. All right, and, 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 and when we're getting to this article, uh, uh, going on the people that, I mean, going in on these churches that are still going to be. In the, uh, the denomination and the ones that chose to say, okay, we're not going to be doing, uh, participating in these acts anymore. But guess what? You're still in that spirit of, of Jesus is in, in this uh, uh, temple and in this house, so to speak, man. Because we're going, we want to tackle the issue as well, too, about how the Lord said he dwelleth not in temples made with hands, man. All right. And that, and, 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 and that we, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native, Amer Native Americans, that we are the temple of the Lord, man. All right, not because not in no doggone building, man. All right, now let's go. Let's read First Corinthians once again. I'm gonna read that First Corinthians again. First Corinthians three and sixteen, where it says what? It says, "Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you." All right. So, a hey, and then we're gonna read down a little bit. If any man defile of his defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. For the temple of Yahweh is holy. Which temple ye are, okay? So the Lord is letting you know, man, that you, you can't defile your temple with all this, these rudiments and, and ways of the world, man, all right? Pagan holidays, man, abominable foods, man, all right? Just uh, despising uh, sound wisdom and instructions, man. Once again, you know, as, as we just read in Proverbs 1 and 22, it says, Simp uh, how long will ye simple ones love simplicity and fools hate knowledge, man, all right? 
So you're defiling your temple because the spirit of the Lord dwells in us, man. All right. You have a, 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 a plethora of our people that go to those hiring houses, those temples made with hands. And they go in there, they hoot and they holler and do all this stuff and be like, oh, the spirit is on me. And then as soon as they're leaving, they're, they're, they're defiling their temple by doing all type of abominable things, man. All right. Not knowing once again that the temple of the Lord is in you, as we read, man. All right. Now, let's um tackle this issue, man, because at the end of the day, man, it's all confusion, man. And one thing about the Lord, let's see what the Lord says about what how he feels about confusion, man. All right. Now, this is first Corinthians chapter 14 and 33. And it says. For Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints, man, going back into as all people of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. He's not the author of confusion, man. All right. And most of our people are in a confused state of mind, man. All right. So, hey, every everything with the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, when you're when you're in the spirit of truth, the uh, moth, hey, everything is going to be sound and it's going to make sense, man. It's not going to be no separation and no division. And going back into look at these churches, man. Those churches are in a separation. Uh, mind frame. So that should let you know as well, too, that that's not the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai, man. That's not the spirit of the Lord, man. Because guess what? Once again, for Yahweh, 1 Corinthians 14 and 33, for Yahweh is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints, man. So anytime you, hey, you, you, there should never be a confused state of mind, man. All right. Because, hey, the most high ain't the author of confusion, man. And guess what? Our people are going to be confused. They're going to be, I want to go this way, that way. And that's going to cause the what? The separation of the people, sedition amongst men, as the scriptures speak about. All right. But hey, the hopeful, humble, fearful elect are going to be OK, because guess what? We have that sound mind, man. We're in that uh, peace state of mind, man. When all hell is breaking and loose, man, we're going to be in that mind of Isaiah uh, 33 and 6, man. All right. Let's read that right quick, man. What does Isaiah 33 and 6 say, man? All right, this is book of Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 6, and it says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, is his treasure, man. All right, because they, the, we're not going to, the hopeful, humble, fearful elect is not going to be in a state of, of confusion, man. All right, because they, guess what? We have that fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, man. We don't despise these wisdom and instructions, man, that the Lord has given us, man. All right. So when all hell is breaking loose and, and, and once again, all this confusion is going on, you're going to have people that are going to be scrambling, man. But as the scripture said, hey, the, the, the ones that fear the Lord, hey, in the times of trouble, hey, it's going to we're going to be stable, man. Once again, and the wisdom and knowledge shall and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation, man. All right. The hopeful, hope, hopeful, humble, fearful elect are going to have that mind frame of stability, man. All right, now let's get First Corinthians once again. Hey, we hey, the scriptures is beautiful, man. First Corinthians one and ten. All right, because it says what? Now I beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Yahweh Mashiach, that ye all speak the same thing. All right, so that cuts that old that you see those 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 denominations and all those churches that separating. Hey, they ain't speaking the same thing. So that's another sign that that's confusion. And that's not the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man, who the world ignorantly calls uh, a God in Jesus Christ, man. All right. Now it says uh, that ye all speak the same thing, that there be no division among you. You see that? But those churches did what? Hey, they, they, they divided. All right. They separated, man. Now the scripture said this what? That there be no division among you. But that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. So, hey, man, that's a drop the mic, man. So those 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 churches, those hiring houses, those temples dwelt with hands. Guess what? Spirit of the Lord ain't there, man. All right. They doing all this separating and going this way and that way. And the spirit of the Lord is not going to going to be there. Damn sure ain't going to be uh, uh, nowhere around the ones that still participating in, you know, same uh, 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 sex marriages and. And, and and then furthermore, man, all those that that, that don't even uh, those uh, uh, ceremonies or whatever they're having at uh, either or church or the ones that are going to be doing the same sex or or the ones that are going to be doing a uh, man and woman. Hey, that 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 ain't even what marriage means anyway, man. But that's another topic for another day, man. Because you got our simple people once again. How long sim uh, the simple ones going to be uh, doing simple things, man? You got our simple people believing that. 
you got to have a, a ceremony at a at a church where she dressed in white and and people and, and grandma coming out of town and uncles, aunts and a man getting on one knee, just a whole bunch of abominable things, man. A lot of reasons why the Lord is angry with the with with his house and why he's going to judge his house of Israel first and foremost, man. All right, but um, Abarachazah, I pray that this uh, quick video has been edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. And um, I'm going to close by saying, Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rakah Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time, I do say Shalom.